All right, welcome back to Ballistics Gel Test Without the BS. I hope you can hear me. It has gotten pretty windy, but today we're gonna be shooting Norma Whitetail 150 grain 30 out six. So as always, we'll go ahead and take a look at the box. This is what it looks like. This is Norma's sort of budget hunting ammo. Um, I've seen it a lot lately. Turn it on the side again, it's 150 grain 30 out six, and they have little icons for what looks like white tailed deer, black bear, elk, and wild hog. I don't know about you, but I'm not sure I would hunt elk with a 150 grain soft point in a 30 out six. Um, probably not black bear either for hogs and deer. I'm sure it'll be fine. Flip it over, let's see what they have to say. So, reliable, effective, affordable. It is just a regular old cup and core um, lead and copper bullet, nothing special there. And we'll turn it over and look at the stats. So we have metric up top and imperial down below. So muzzle velocity is stated as 2887 feet per second at the muzzle and we will see how true that is. And we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the ammo out of the box. So Norma ammo comes in these kind of nifty little plastic uh, holders. You press down here and then slide up and they pop out. But if they're down like that, they're kind of locked in and they won't fall out, which is kind of nice. And also I'll try to do this with one hand, but you can break this, there we go. And you've got a little five shooter you can stick in your pocket. And then sort of per standard with Norma ammo, the brass is just really shiny and clean and pretty looking. The ammo is always just nice looking on the outside. Um, the bullet right there, just a cup and core soft point, nothing wrong with it, nothing fancy. And my test rifle is the Tika T3X Superlight Stainless 30-06 with a 22.4 inch barrel with a Leopold VX3 HD scope up top. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. So let's go ahead and shoot this stuff before the sun gets brighter or the wind gets stronger. And we're down at the blocks after the first shot with a Norma 150 grain whitetail ammo. We have a good wound cavity, relatively shallow, at least compared to some of the heavier 30 out 6 ammo that I fired. Coming on back, we have the bullet captured right there, nice and pretty. And we got the tape measure set up. It looks like our penetration for this first shot is right about 19 and 3 quarter inches, 19 and a half, just shy of 20 inches. All right, I'm going to yank that bullet out, swap the blocks, and go back for shots 2 and 3. And we're back down at the blocks after the third shot, and we've captured bullets number two and three. I pulled the first one earlier. And we got the tape measure to measure penetration depth, and it looks like we've got one at right about 18 and a half inches and another at about 19 and an eighth, 19 and a quarter. All right, let's take a look at the velocities for that Norma 30 out 650 grand whitetail stuff. So let me get over here. The high velocity was 27.32. The low was 27.10. Wow, that's not much of a spread. And the average was 27.24. All right, let's take a look at these 150 grain normal whitetail bullets out of a 30-06. Overall average weight retention was 129 grains. And I have to point out that the consistency of the weight retention was absolutely incredible. Respectively, for each bullet, we got 129, 130 and 129 grains again. So these bullets, if nothing else, are incredibly consistent and you're gonna get the same performance out of every shot. And what's more, even though these are not a bonded bullet, these are just a standard cup and core lead and copper bullet, we got 86% weight retention and that's with a 150 grain 30 caliber bullet. That is incredible. And let's just take a second to look at how perfectly mushroom these bullets are. They really do look incredible. Average overall expansion was 0.67 inches. That's 0 0.67, 0 0.71, and 0 0.63 respectively for each of the three bullets. So fairly consistent expansion across all three, and that is 2.2x overall expansion. So it did hit that 2x benchmark that I have for a modern hunting bullet, and with a 150 grainer that's maintaining 86% weight retention, that's, that's really good. 
All right, now we have to talk about velocity. So the average velocity was 2,724 feet per second versus an advertised or build velocity of 2,887. So it came in 163 feet per second slower than advertised. The high velocity was 2,732 and the low velocity was 2,710 for a 22 foot per second spread. So if nothing else, it is extremely consistent even though it is coming in quite a bit slower than advertised. And these velocities that we saw with this normal whitetail ammo are more akin to what I'd expect from a 165 grain bullet out of a 30 out sticks instead of a 150. Not the end of the world, not a deal breaker, just something to be aware of. And then as far as penetration goes, we averaged 19 inches for all three shots. We saw 19 and a half, 19 and a quarter, and 18 and a half inches of penetration. And for a 150 grain bullet that got 86% weight retention and 2.2x expansion, I'm pretty happy with that. That'll definitely go through your white tailed deer, which is what this ammo is advertised as being used for. All right, so closing thoughts on the normal whitetail 150 grain ammo out of a 30 out six. I'm really happy with the performance. The velocity came in a little bit under advertised, well, not a little bit, quite a bit under advertised, but whoop de doo, that's not really a big deal for the type of hunting you're probably going to be doing with it. Uh, for the expansion you get, for the weight retention you get, for the penetration you get, I think it's a great deal. It's a great combo for just general deer hunting. And perhaps the best thing about normal whitetail ammo is how incredibly affordable it is. I don't know if you've seen it around where you are, but where I'm at, it's about the best price stuff out there. So I'm gonna be picking up some boxes, if nothing else, for practice because of how affordable it is. And if my rifle likes it, I'm gonna use it. And on that note, as far as if your rifle likes it or not, um, I will tell you that I have shot quite a bit of it actually in 30-06, 270, and 243. And every rifle that I've shot normal whitetail ammo out of has performed incredibly well accuracy-wise. I don't show a lot of accuracy testing on my channel just because it's so subjective. Different people have different skill levels, different setups, different rifles are gonna you know, perform better or worse than others. It's too subjective of a topic. Um, but if you haven't tried normal whitetail, maybe give it a shot, no pun intended, because in my experience, every rifle I've shot it out of has, has really drilled them in there. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.